All right, in this lesson, we're going to be creating multiple CSV files from a single data frame, and we're gonna be writing them to a directory. So let's get started. Um, I'm in my 004. If you need to, just uh, click the pull button and it'll pull down the GitHub repo. I'm gonna be working out of 004. I'm gonna be working out of this .r file. So it's 004, writing multiple files .r. Just click that and open it up. Also, I'm gonna to scroll to the top here and um, you'll want to make sure you have your outline open so you can follow along. Okay, so this is our tips. We're going to be writing multiple CSV files and we're going to be using the map function. Um, if you haven't done so already to get these tips weekly, sign up for the MailChimp, um, or excuse me, the uh, RTIPS newsletter, and that's offered weekly by Business Science, and you'll get these into your email. Um, the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to load some libraries. So I'm going to load library tidyverse and FS. The tidyverse is the main core package that we'll use. And then we've got the FS library, which is for the file system. For, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to read in multiple CSV files from a folder that we've already created previously in one of our um, tips. It was our first one, reading multiple files. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate right to this data folder, and that has all of these files in here on these different cars. So what I want to do is um, I want to pull that into um, my environment. So I'm going to find that directory, which is OO read multiple files slash data. That's the directory that I want to read. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take that directory, which just looks something like this, 001 read multiple files slash data. And I'm going to pipe that into the dir ls function. So this is what it does is it lists all of the files and the path and it's the full file path for each of the files that are located in that directory. Once I have that file list, I can then use the map function. I've actually expanded out the map function. The map function takes one argument, um, actually two arguments. The first one is an iterable, which is going to be our list here, or our vector of, um, of uh, file paths. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna apply a function to each one of these file paths. So I've ex expanded this and made an anonymous function. So you can see it starts with function and then um, it's gonna take a variable called path and that path goes in, inside of the function and it's gonna run the contents of this, this function on that path. Now, what I've done here is I've actually specified the call types because if you don't do this, um, one of the uh, files or, or a couple of the files has this uh, just has an empty uh, drivetrain. Maybe it's a, um, you know, a vehicle that doesn't have a drivetrain. So, uh, which I don't know if those exist or not, but um, it's a logical. So uh, get, uh, in order to avoid that error, what I'm doing is I'm specifying the column types for each one of the columns. So it um, correctly specifies whether or not it's character or a double. Um, or so on. And you can change these around depending on what your data looks like. Um, so when I run this, what happens is it reads in all of those files from each one of the, um, the, the paths that I gave it, gave it. Cool. So I'm going to save this as car data list. Um, so I've now just read in all of these files that are located here in this data folder. And now what I want to do is I'm going to bind that um, together and uh, we're just going to um, use a function first called set names to set the names of each of these. And then I can use it, this path as a um, ID feature and bind rows. And what this will do is it'll combine everything into one table and it has a file path here, which I can uh, group on. So, uh, cool. Now I know where they, where each one of these came from and I have all of the files uh, combined together. Uh, and I did that with bind rows, which is taught in my 101 course. I'm going to save that as car data tibble now. And um, what I'll do is I'll, uh, so the, the list is what we had previously. I'm going to now show what that tibble looks like. It's 234 by 12. And, um, and now we have a, a data frame. But now say you wanted to actually split that up. Um, so how would we split that up? So we just saw how to combine that, but you uh, might be in a situation where you want to create a directory in here and split up into the 15 different files. So that's what the next section shows you how to do. 
So first we're going to create a directory and I'm just going to give it a path and it's going to be my 04 writing multiple files. Um, and then it's going to be card data 01. So I'm going to do new directory and all this is is literally just a text string. Next, what I'll do is I'll use the dir create function from the FS library. And magically, we've now got a directory in here. Now it's just an empty directory, so it's uh, nothing too interesting there, but let's fill it. So how, how are we gonna fill it? Well, we're gonna split the these um, this data frame up into 15 different data frames, and then we're gonna iterate over it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, we're gonna take our car data tibble, which is 234 by 12, and it's just a single data frame. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first modify the path in here, because I'm gonna use that as to locate this car data 01. So um, I'm gonna use this str replace function. That comes from the Stringer library. And this is text manipulation. Uh, it's taught in my 101 course. So uh, when we do this, it now converts from the 01 read multiple files and it replaces it with the new directory. So now um, uh, when I write these, I'm gonna point to that new directory. Uh, next, I'm gonna use group by to group by the file path. So now I have 15 groups and you can see that right here. And then I'm gonna use this function called group split. So that what that does, is it converts it back into a list which I can iterate over. And then I'm gonna use the map function here. And again, an anonymous function. So remember map takes two arguments. The first one is an iterable and then the next one is a function to apply to, to that iterable. So, so it's gonna take each one of these elements, so it's gonna pass in a data frame that I'm calling data here in the, in the anonymous function, and then um, I'm gonna specify the path, which is the unique, uh, and it's the, the file path column, and I'm just taking the, the unique value of each of that because it's the same for, for each one of these groups. So when I run this, control enter, we can see that it's doing some stuff. And now if I look in car data 01, I now have all of my data frames. And if I open one of these up, so view the file. Oops, I had a bug in my code. I'm just getting an X in here. And that's because these are actually RDS files. Um, so I switched this out to write CSV. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, try this one more time. So I'm gonna write this one more time, control enter. And let's see what happens now. If I go to, uh, audi.csv, view the file, and there we go. Cool, so it's working. Um, now I have 15 different CSV files, um, and that bug there was, uh, I just needed to make sure I switched this out with write CSV and save it to a, um, a CSV file, as opposed to uh, an RDS file. Okay, cool, so now you know how to not only combine multiple files, uh, but you also know how to split them back up. And, uh, and save them into a directory. If you like this video, don't forget to sign up for the Tuesday Free R Tips newsletter. You can just click this uh, link here and it'll send you here. Put your email address in and every Tuesday you'll get these videos, you'll get the code, and you'll get the tutorial right in your inbox.